Okay, what's up guys, Turner here, and today I have a new tutorial, but before I get to that tutorial, I'm going to explain, kind of, really quickly, and hopefully 30 seconds or less, why I haven't been here. So pretty much, I took a <laughs> about a four month break from just YouTube in general, I mean, I posted two videos, but around three or four months, I just, it was getting old, it was just, and get, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling YouTube, uh, I know that sounds weird, but that's pretty much the gist of it, I just... I just wanted to relax, play some games, talk to my friends, and that's what I did. Uh, but now I'm back, and I'm going to start uploading again. Uh, hopefully I want to do either a video every day or a video every other day. But that's going to be my aim in the next few weeks. Right now, to get back up, I'm going to try to get at least two or three videos out a week. Uh, so that means Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So three or two videos in all those days. Um, and if not then F me. <laughs> but anyway, today's tutorial... Oh, shit. And, guys, sorry for my language, but uh, this channel t this channel right here, MC Plug and Tuts, will be just for tutorials, but Turner Crafts, which is another channel, will be for all my gameplay. As you see, it's pretty much the same image. I just edited it a little bit. Uh, but Turner Crafts, which is my other channel, it'll be for all the gameplay and all these other games. So, Hardline... Uh, maybe Call of Duty, whatever the new ones coming out, Advanced Warfare, Minecraft, playthrough, survival, let's play, it's all that good shit. But anyway, uh, we're gonna get right into the plug-in tutorial, because it's already been about a minute and 30 seconds. But anyway, uh, the plug-in I'm doing today is my Tablus 2.0. It's made by some German people and American people, right there. But anyway, it allows you to make a cool little Tablus, uh, for your server. So, as you see, like right here, or there, or there, or there, easy to configure. It's pretty easy, gotta say. Uh, but anyway, uh, you're just gonna download it here, and you're gonna wanna put it, God, in your um, plugins folder. So, I already have mine in there. Now, you're gonna also wanna make sure your server slots are above, God, just put it to like a hundred or something. <laughs> Or if you'll if you're if you're uh, just start your server and I'll just connect it really quick. Can't talk today, man. Mon mon. But anyway, so I'll show you. So if you hold tab right now, you see three three columns or whatever. I hope I'm saying that right. You see three columns. Now, if my player limit is too low, you only show one, and then if you only show one, it will mess up a whole bunch of. <laughs> Like, it'll just, it'll put all the, you'll do all the work to, like, to set all the tabs, you know, to make it say cool stuff, but it will just show it in all one column instead of three. So, just make sure your player slot is above however many that is, so like, I don't know, a lot of players, maybe, like, 70 or something. But anyway, just make sure you have that, and then, uh, once you do that, continue watching the video to get to the next part. And you're going to open your plugins, and after you start your server, you're going to have three folders, or probably two, two new ones. So, Plugin Metrics is just a kind of website that allows plugins to send info to to get like how many players use it, how many players on the servers that use it, how many services it on, stuff like that. Uh, the updater is like an auto updater feature, which I like to disable because oftentimes when you download a new, um, oh shit, spell that wrong. Uh, when you download new plugins, they have bugs, so it takes like another version to patch those bugs and then you got new bugs and I don't know. I don't like to do that because if it's if there's a bug in the version your plugins bugged there's errors there could be stuff just not a good idea to do on like a live server if it's your own uh, local host server I mean it should be fine but if it's like a big server you just want to normally turn those off uh, but we're going to go right into the config of it and get right into it now I'm going to tell you there are a few things I do not know what they mean in uh, these in the like setup files but I can't find anything to like tell me what they do or how to use them so you'll see those in a minute uh, so I'll just walk you through these I mean you can read what they say but if you want to log they're pretty self-explanatory um if you want the plugin to log to the, your console you can have it true or false but I don't like to have a cluttered console so I turn it to false unless it's something important like maybe like like bands or kicks or something. I keep those in the console also. Well, normally everybody does. But anyway, next part. If you want to use the metrics, uh, you can use that. If not, just disable it. Um, 
yeah so if you want to disable just put false if you want to use the auto updater <laughs> so it will download a version of it when it's updated if you want to do that then you can I don't recommend it but I'm not going to tell you what to do so I'm going to turn mine to false you can have yours to whatever you'd like now this is one of the things that I don't really know what it does it says enable auto refresh to set the refresh interval of tab list now that's worded a little funny um, to me maybe because the guy's German but I don't know what auto refresh means maybe it refreshes the tab list every 10 seconds or 20 or 30 maybe that maybe it doesn't automatically when a player like when when a new player joins maybe it doesn't update the tab list maybe it only updates it uh, when you reconnect or disconnect so it'll only show those players maybe this updates the tab list for those players that's a good guess but right now I only have one player <laughs> which is me so I can't test it sadly but that's my guess if you want to enable it you can put to true and then however many seconds you want it to keep kind of going over now these are all the variables you can use in a tab list all right there there's a lot of them a lot of little good things if you're going to use like money or currency you're going to need vault or an economy plugin installed most likely vault you can like if you have groups like a group manager or pecs you can see some groups of the players or the player group <coughs> I'm sorry about that. Uh, I can use colors, and this is the other thing I don't know how to do is custom variables or vars, which I'm pretty sure means variables. Um, yeah, I can't find anything on the bucket dev page and what, how you even use those. So, yeah, I'm just gonna leave those blank. So if anybody knows how to use them, send me a link, and I'd be happy to figure it out too, because <laughs> it's a neat little plugin. What here is. Uh, how do I say this? Here is a uh, player. So if you want to check if a player is online or offline, you can do, I guess, up to five players, which, I mean, if you're going to use this, you wouldn't really need too many. But if I want to check, say, it's case sensitive. So if you have a capital in your name, you have to make it a capital. Not three. Magic man, I don't do. So I'll do that later. I'm just going to enter in my name there to check. Now, if you go down here, you can show... The first five users of like a group, so admins, mods, stuff like that, you can show them going down if you want to do that. And if you would like to do that, when you get the when I show the next page, you're just going to use this variable right here. I'm not going to do that because I don't have group manager or PEX installed. Now this is down here. I'm not going to do it, but this is how you would do it for more worlds if you wanted like a have one for a creative world or a survival world or different things like that you just all you have to do is as it says up here is remove the little, the hashtag sign or the number sign or whatever it's called really called I don't know what it's called and then it will make you a new uh, file for each of those worlds and you can edit them to your pleasing but next we're gonna get into the worlds folder it will make them in here and just open up the default .yml. and this is where the fun begins so I'm not going to organize mine at all. Um, I'm just going to walk you through, like, I'll do the top one organized in a bit. Then I'll just use some variables in the second row, or second, yeah, row to show you how to do it. But pretty much what this means is the one, two, three, four, five. These are the rows. So rows go across, columns go down. Uh, so the first row, second row, third row. So in the first row, it will show my tab list first. And then after that, in the second box, it will show a plug and buy. And then the third block, it will show Dev X Press. So if I go here, I press tab, that's exactly what it shows. And then you have these uh, variables called empty. Now what that does is if you look in the tab list, underneath the My Tab List, a plugin by Dev X Press, underneath that, there's a blank um, a box or a section, and that's what the empty does. If I didn't have empty there, uh, my name, so Magic Man 902, would be one up, so it would be right under tab list. Um, if you that's just what it does so I'm just gonna copy this really quick and paste this in the fourth one actually I only need I only need this so I'm gonna show you kind of some uh, some little variables so let's see so let's just make this first one let's make it a little like we saw on the website let's just do this so that's I don't know how many characters that is hopefully it's not over 16 because if it's over 16 characters then minecraft will just delete the the ones after 16 so let's just do my server 
not mo mo server mo server but there we go so that's a pretty simple one so it will just show this then my server then this and if it's over 16 characters which i'm not going to count that all then it will just erase these two or these so it'll be a problem i'll have to edit it but that's the little fun part you will edit everything but i'm going to use the whole list of variables up here uh right here they can all be used inside here so if i wanted to get my players ping I will just use the percent ping percent so let's do that so let's see ping percent ping percent and then let's do over here you see I did uh, the players so player one is magic now too so if I do player one right here percent player one percent I can see if he is online so let's say this would be useful the only kind of things I think it could be useful for are for if you're the owner or like the top admins. You could say top admin or owner. So if I do owner, uh, that, and I do player one, it will show like owner, offline, owner, online. You can do stuff like that. And then also the last one I'm going to do is TPS and I'm going to show, uh, that's percent percent DPS. Okay, my bad. Percent TBS percent. So anyway, we're gonna. I don't know why I did that. So I'm gonna copy this now and paste it here. So pretty much, I'm gonna walk you through what this will show, and then I'm gonna show it, and hopefully it's right. So uh, it will show this, then my server, then this. So it will show that across the top row. Then the second row, it will show ping my ping, and then it will tell me if the owner is online. So I'm the owner, so I'll be online. It'll stay online. And then we'll show the TPS next. So you can save it like that. And then you can do slash my tab list reload. And that will reload your tab list. So if I now have whole tab, bam, there's my fancy ass tab list with no color. Uh, but you can also add color. Uh, just to let you guys know a little, little thing. So you can fancy that up with some color. So it says it. It says my ping is zero because it's on the local server I'm hosting it. Uh, the owner is online. Awesome. And then that sounds really weird. And then my TPS is 20 because it's locally hosted by me. So hopefully the server or this tutorial, the server. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful for you. And if it was, subscribe, like, comment, do everything that everybody always asks you guys to do. But you don't have to do any of that. Just I would appreciate a comment if you liked it. Just say, like, thanks, man, or, like, yeah, you, I don't know, just whatever. Or if you need help, just comment. Um, if you have any errors, just comment because that's how I help people. And I usually try to re uh, reply to every single comment I get. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. See ya.